Welcome to Ballon Parkway Double O Gauge Layout Extension Project Part 36 and a Happy New Year to you. Let's hope that this year, 2021, we can return to some normality eventually and get rid of this wretched pandemic and uh, also go to model exhibition shows etc. Anyway, enjoy the video and uh, catch up with you soon. Okay, this is the latest project to be working on. It's the Graveyard and Church or church and graveyard at the rear of the layout and this is St Catherine's Church which is Hornby Scaledale which I got second hand a few years ago lovely building got various gravestones here these were I think a laser cut I got them off eBay so got the front of the church there with a path I put in which is asphalted with little stones around the edges there. So I need to put an entrance there for the path leading up to the front door. Oops, it's got a tree there. The monument there has got two wreaths, wreaths, should I say. Around the perimeter you've got the wrought iron fencing, like Victorian style. So the fencing goes around the perimeter of the graveyard. We've got some more stones there. It's quite effective. Let's go from this handle here. Let's see a better picture of it there. Okay, this is the rear of the churchyard. So I've added these trees, which are from Holmby Scaledale. This tree here is what I was given in a previous video, which I've weathered, painted, and aged and added the foliage to. It's come out really well. So I've got an oak tree there. And there's a line next to the graveyard. Oops. Need to put something at the front down here. Here's the side of the graveyard, churchyard. So a few more gravestones to be added. bit dark around here but you can just make it out what it is so some more gravestones there and a bench again these are off eBay I think the laser printed and painted okay this is the front end here so we've got a little hole there I'll show you that later there's something in there which I'll uh, demonstrate. And now outside the graveyard here you've got a, a wasteland with some more trees from woodland scenics, bushes, things like that. These trees here are off eBay. It's quite a good effect, that's real sunlight coming through there. There's the two reefs at the front there. Of the monument which is pretty good I think. An aerial view of the churchyard. The actual church building has got uh, some light in him, but this was second hand and someone's blanked all the windows out. So I need to change the windows at some stage. Two stained glass windows. And I'm also going to put a, a sound chip in there or something, some sound effects, people singing, etc. So there's the church scene, which uh, in natural sunlight looks pretty good. I think we need a priest rather than a surveyor standing over that hole. Uh, something very strange going on here, strange phenomena in this uh, churchyard. Quick, get a priest. This is the Class 14 diesel shunter. I've had this for a while now from Hellier and um, it's done in the industrial use colours the blue circle cement now I've had a conversion job done on this by GLR Railway, Stephen Dodd so basically he's put two amber flashing lights on here for industrial use which is 
um, flight function six on the um, keypad. It's got a new sound chip in here, which is from YouTube's, which is really good. It's got a CLF capacitor in it, so it can go across the points really well, better than before, which it was terrible before. Also, he's done some work on the underframe, where the wheels and bogies are, and put better pickups on there. It was terrible before, the other points, but with the stay-alive capacitor, and the extra work done on there, it's absolutely brilliant, it's so slow speeds now. So it's done a cracking job, Stephen done at GLR Railways in Wales. So it runs over the points really well with the stay alive and the conversion on the um, pickups there. The only slight problem I've had here is, I think it's down, down to the cold weather, I'm not sure. It was really cold in here yesterday. But the lights, the flashing on the lights, didn't work very well. I uh, didn't flicker very well at all. But um, in warmer temperatures, it seems to be a bit better. So a bit of a mystery. If you can fill me in on that, why I would do that, I don't know. It could be my system, which is the Batman Dynamics, which I'm hoping to upgrade sometime next year. Um, got the idea from a picture uh, with uh, class 14 in a coal yard somewhere with these lights on the side so it's done the job from that photo basically but uh, a cracking job Okay, I've also weathered one of these loaders I got on the last video I made. This is from Viking. So I basically got a textured paint here and weathered the wheels and the bucket. And around the back here. And also put some rust marks around the side panels of the uh, vehicle. And at the back, more weathered. Uh, cement at the back there and more corrosion and dirt and a little bit of black for the soot on the exhaust there a nice little model that so so basically that's a difference so that's been weathered that only slightly I've done the wheels so far but I've got the bucket to do and the rest of the body but you can see the difference that looks plasticky that's an improvement so Okay, we've got the bulldozer here which are weathered and painted, so again rust marks around the edges here where the engine cowling is there. Uh, we've got the um, oil spillages and things like that, dirt from the oil. And on the tracks we've got the cement chalk uh, which is textured and various rust around the perimeter of the vehicle. Again the same there, the oil spillages and the cement. And that's come up really well, better than it was before, which was very toy-like. So quite pleased with that. Okay, this is the dumper truck, which I've weathered as well. Vast improvement. So I've got the dirty cement in there around the wheels. And at the front, so the rear, is the radiator, which I've put a little black soot around there. And this is textured, which is great. So it was very toy-like and plasticky. You've even got a driver here, I'll put him in there. So he's optional. So that's the dumper truck. So that's from Wiking. It's HO scale, but suits the cement works really well. Quite pleased with that. 
Okay, to show you what I've done here, this is the portal tunnel towards the station. Now when I built this, there's a side in coming into the goods yard here. And I thought it was plenty of clearance, but some locos are catching the stonework around the face here. So I've actually cut that away. It looks a bit of a mess. I've ordered a new portal, a Bikeman one, slightly different brickwork, but you did see them like that. So that's going to be done for 2021 this year. Happy New Year, by the way. And um, it's a bit of a mess. So I'm going to take that out and scrap that and put the new uh, portal in. Hopefully it'll fit. And it'll look pretty good, I hope. Okay, this is the outside section of the layout, which I don't use during the winter. Now, I had um, Storm Bella the other day, which pushed this fence over here, which I managed to repair. But obviously, the layout's attached to the fence, and it ripped the fittings off down here. And you can see this one went straight through the model fencing. It's got to repair that. But it's also damaged the track here. So this has got to be relayed by a new track and it also pushed all this section and ripped the sleepers off here so two curvatures going to be replaced obviously I don't use this during the winter period it's only using the spring to summer periods maybe a bit of autumn also damage here where well, I think a cat sat on it the signal stopped working there as well that needs repairing that's a little bit of damage As you can see the end there with the tunnel, I've blocked it off for the winter period. It needs to be tidy up during the spring period. A few months yet. This is the quarry pit and I've just done the floor of the quarry pit with a textured uh, coating here and added various colours to give it a bit more depth, a bit more mud colours which is burnt umber and I've put some little track marks in where the vehicles are being come in and out of the quarry yard and I think it looks quite effective I quite like that, let's zoom in a little bit here you can see it's made a massive difference there, that was a bare board I'll just bring it back this is the rear of the quarry again with the textured markings for the tracks of the vehicles and that was the bare board so I've just finished that area off in the last few days so this is the rear of the quarry next to the main line where the uh, exchange sidings are for the live code to turn round and so I say put the tracks in here to make it more realistic and that goes towards the plant all the works down there so that just finishes off that really well. So I'm going to put the vehicles back in there. And another shot here. And that finishes that scene off really well. Coming out of the quarry here, I put track marks onto the concrete apron. So basically it's all... Uh, very sludgy residue down there I want to depict and these are where the vehicles have come out and made a mess basically this is a product I used for the base of the quarry it's uh, town and country scenic textured paint obviously concrete uh, I've not done concrete, it's more of a mishmash of dirt and uh, the sort of materials coming out of the quarry the limestone but it worked really well, it's got a bit of grit in there so it comes out really well uh, 2020 doing the Christmas shopping just before New Year um, came across this uh, material in a garden centre which I think is for Christmas trees but excellent foliage for model railways and it's got the bracken in it and etc things that looks like bracken, it's not real bracken but it looks really good now I don't know if it's organic or what, it may deteriorate but I put that at the back of cement works there where the processing plant is and it looks really good, it's filled that gap really well 
So I'll just glue that down, the glue's dry in there. And um, strange stuff, but it looks really effective. Okay, some more of the material here. So whether this will degrade, I don't know. Maybe just spray it with some lacquer or something. Um, we'll see in time, but it looks pretty effective of weeds, etc., and foliage. I quite like that.